this Canadian tire in North Bay, Ontario, is bucking a big box store trend. In July, it opened more cashier lanes and ditched its self-checkouts. It just felt like it was time to get rid of them. The store's general manager says the machines just weren't a good fit. Canadian tires carry so many big products, whether it's snow blowers, gazebos, generators, don't really lend themselves to self-checkouts. Many customers seem to agree. I'm happy to see that their self-checkouts are gone. I prefer this just because I like the contact with person to person. Several other stores have also recently removed their self-checkouts, including this Toronto-area Canadian Tire and three Walmarts in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Never mind. And Booth Supermarket chain in England is phasing out the machines in nearly all of its stores. They've complained before when we did have the self-service checkouts that they didn't like them. So I think they like the one-to-one -one bit of it and being able to talk to a person. This shopper has another reason. The main thing is the jobs for young people in the future. Computers are taking away too many jobs. Self-checkout started gaining prominence about a decade ago, a way for retailers to cut labour costs and speed up the checkout process. But some problems have persisted. A lot of people resented the move to self-checkout, feeling like they're told to do their own work. There are also technical hurdles, like figuring out how to scan produce with no barcodes. And then there's the downside risk. The theft is a big, big issue. and It's just that you, there's so many ways you can game the system. A new survey polled 2,000 American shoppers. 15% admitted to stealing at self-checkout. 21% said they've accidentally taken an item without scanning it. That's an awful lot of people who are walking away from self-checkout without paying for stuff that they should be paying for. But experts say there's a good reason why self-checkout isn't going away. It's popular with many shoppers. I, I love it. It's very effective and it just lets me just do my thing. It's just really convenient for people such as myself and others that are just quickly on the go and know exactly what they need. So the self-checkout debate continues with both customers and stores taking sides. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Toronto.